Today we have Gola Loon Queen Walk Town Hall 9. I needed to bring you this attack. So look at this base. Why come from the air? Two reasons. Or one reason, main reason. The air defenses are all on the outside. So what this means is the queen can take care of two, and she will. And then the king and a golem is going to take care of the third and from the and the queen. And with that air attack, it's going to be destruction. So let's see how Essa Singla does it. Uh, this is not a max town hall nine, of course. The defenses are actually, but the heroes are not. Uh, so the defenses are very strong. So let's see what he does and how he comes about it. Now, you could either start from the west or the east. I prefer going with the, uh, the west with the queen and let the king take care of the enemy queen. That way, uh, because the king does better on the enemy queen than the queen. So here he drops the healer and the queen right now. She's going to be taking some damage from two defenses, So, but she's strong enough to survive. No rage will have to be used at this moment. Very patient. He's just like, come on, come on, come on. So you can barely tell. Four healers just barely keep a level 26 hero alive with two defenses on her. There goes the de air defense, very critical at the very beginning. He will the queen will path south. Very well done there. She could have path north which would have posed disaster, um, but it could have worked out in the end either way. So, and then he's about to kind of give the queen some help with a wizard and a hog. Now the hog is used to lure the clan castle. Very smart. You have to take out the clan castle before you bring in the air portion. The clan castle, the queen, and air defenses. Preferably, you take down two air defenses, or at least one, destroy the clan castle and the queen all in the first part part of your raid before the La Loon portion. The, uh, she is going to have to drop her ability and a rage to make sure she kills the clan castle. Look at that, barely surviving, ha was trying to keep her from using the ability, but she had to drop it. Her ability to make this happen. So here comes the next portion of the attack. Now the danger here, the king actually could have drifted around the base, but luckily he came back in towards the center of the base. Now why didn't the king lock onto the queen right then? Come on, AI, that is terrible. The king doesn't lock onto the queen until, look, he's now at the gold sword, this whole attack. So that's kind of unfortunate. If the king had locked on to the queen earlier, uh, his golem would have survived just a little bit longer. And you know, those little things matter. All that matters. Here he drops in two of the uh, La Loons. Look at that level four hound. Uh, but as you will find out, the reason why this attack got a 99% is because the last level 4 hound did not burst. It was too powerful. So kind of bit him in uh, <laughs> yeah. It did not go well at all. So at this point of the raid he's like, okay, I have 5 looms left. He needs to think strategically. Luckily the expos are pointed downward. And he, day, he does take care of all the uh, defenses, but what happens is there's not enough time left. He didn't save any of cleanup troops. He was depending on the uh, hounds to burst to make sure uh, that he got the cleanup. Unfortunate that some of those air mines didn't lock on to the hound. They hit the looms instead. So some of those things, it, you can't predict that, and you get to fail. There it is. 99% uh, I know it happens all the time. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And as always, Halo.